so i've gotten a few comments from you guys in a video i made on this topic a few months ago i wasn't expecting that video to do well but apparently it did so i'm glad it actually helped some of you out but some of you still complained of having small issues few issues here and there so this is a more updated video to that video if that makes sense in this video i'm going to be answering some of your questions that you guys left in the previous video of course i did not forget you guys who said we don't have a pc in case you didn't see the first video and this is probably the first one you are seeing in today's video i'm going to be going through some of the issues you would find when you're trying to update your youtube channel banner i really do not know how long this video is going to be so i've decided to leave timestamps down in the description so you can skip to what parts fits your particular needs and if you at any point find anything helpful in this video consider liking the video and subscribing because i do plan on making videos like this where like i try to solve some tech related problems that you guys might face without any further delay let's start off with the first thing so to make sure we're not causing our own problems for ourselves and being the enemy of our own progress we're going to be looking at youtube's dimensions and recommendations for your youtube channel banner so here are some of the steps you should take to make sure you get this correctly first in whatever software or app you decide to make your youtube channel banner in just make sure you're doing it within the youtube recommended values or recommended dimensions the best advice i can give you is to use the actual recommended value by youtube because it does say at least that particular value but you can go a little bit higher or lower, but to be on the safe side, use the exact values that YouTube recommended. Two, if you must use templates, make sure you're using one that is up to date because there are templates made five years ago, six years ago, even 10 years ago. They might not work well with how YouTube branding is today. So make sure your templates are up to date, preferably one from 2020 probably i'll just leave one that i used down in the comment section down below so you can grab that it's a photoshop file so if you don't have photoshop i'm also going to leave a png image that you can use to like guide you when you are making your youtube channel banner everything will be down in the youtube description so check it out so quickly take your time to confirm that you have all of this ready and set up so that you're not the one causing your own problems and yeah, let's carry on with the rest of the video. So I found out the hard way that if you use third party services to like customize or brand your YouTube channel, and then you try to update or rebrand your YouTube channel, you either have to do it on that same platform that you registered in, or you completely remove that service from your YouTube channel. In my case, I used a popular service called Stream Element to brand my YouTube channel. I had this dynamic uh, channel banner where it like shows my subscriber counts as I was counting to 1000 subscribers. So for every subscriber I got, the YouTube channel would change on its own. The issue and what I later found was that I completely forgot my login details for Stream Element. And so my channel banner was permanently stuck to being customized only on stream elements. So if you use any form of service that helps you customize your YouTube channel banner or YouTube channel in general, you might want to use that same service to update or rebrand your YouTube channel if you want to. But if you're like me and you completely forgot your login details to whatever service you decided to use, then you might want to remove this service permanently from your channel. And I'll show you how to do that. Right now so to remove third-party services from your youtube account what you want to go is to go into google.com so what you want to do is go into your profile and click on manage google account go into data and privacy and then scroll down and you're going to find where it says data from apps and services you use third-party apps and services is where you want to go into you're going to see a bunch of services that you can just remove from your google account basically let me let me take out parallel so you guys see how it is so when you click on it then you're going to see this page and then you see down here where it says delete all connections you have with parallels once you delete that it's going to be removed permanently from your gmail account or from your google account basically so for my mobile users i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well so what you want to do is to go into google app or gmail app whichever one you have i'm just going to use google itself and then at the very top just like in the PC version, just click on that and you'll see where it says manage your Google account. So from here, you want to go into data and privacy and then you want to scroll down to where it says data from apps and services that you use. And just like in the PC version, third party apps and services, and then you can find whatever service you use to like customize your YouTube channel. 
and then you can just take it out from here let's say if i take out monday.com you can see where it says delete all connections you have with monday.com that's pretty straightforward i hope you guys get it it's not that complicated to be honest but yeah i hope this solves some of your issues so let's say you have gone through the first part of this video and getting rid of third party services on your channel now you want to update your youtube channel banner i'm pretty sure a few of you guys know how to do this already but for the sake of those who don't I'm going to go through that whole process again. First, we're going to be doing it on PC. So for you to do that, you have to go into your YouTube studio. If you don't know how to do that, on the YouTube platform, just click on your profile. You'll see where it says YouTube studio. It's going to take you straight to your YouTube studio. And then you want to click on customize and then branding. So you see here, I purposely removed my YouTube channel banner so that I show you guys how to do it. You can see here the recommended values and then what you want to take into consideration again is that it has to be six megabytes or less so i'm going to upload my youtube channel banner now the one that was there before but i removed it i might have to make it again so now when you click upload this is where it gets interesting because now you can see where those templates and guidelines come to play it's showing you where and what is going to be visible on different devices and platforms whatever that, that might be for you so i'm going to click done and publish when that's done loading, go to channel and yeah, you can see that it's uploaded. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on your phone. So first you want to go also to your YouTube studio app. If you don't have it, please download it. Head into your YouTube studio, go into your profile and you see that pencil signed by the side click on it and then you can just upload your channel banner by taking a photo if you wanted to do that or you can just choose from your photos all you have to do is send or save whatever ads you have made to your phone and you're good to go so that's pretty much it before i end this video i want to give a huge thanks to everyone who was trying to help other people in the comment section of that video you guys really helped me a lot because i really couldn't reach everybody and reply to everybody but some of you guys where in the comments just telling people what to do that was truly truly helpful but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you found this video helpful please like the video so more people can see it subscribe so you could get more videos like this i would be making more helpful solution to like tech related problems especially solutions that i found to problems i am facing and also to what you guys do report down in the comments of my videos i'll try to make videos covering those thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video So that was on ASMR. I think I might add that in the video.